Hi, and welcome to a totally disorganized demonstration of the QAO, Quantize Arpeggiate Oscillate. This used to be an Eon made by Qubit, but we put new software in it. First, the oscillation. Standard sine wave oscillator. Yeah, it tracks one volt per octave, sort of, kind of. Not very precise. But it's also got a hidden trick. It's a phase distortion sine wave. We can also kick it into sawtooth mode. And sawtooth has a hidden trick. It's a super saw. Note that what you're hearing here is, is pure. There's no external processing being applied. Of course, there's also low range. You can low range a super saw, believe it or not. And go faster. Super saw it. You can pull the same trick with a sine wave. Your speakers probably don't reproduce that very well. It's a real powerful bass note. Okay, the arpeggiation. Center position. Normally you provide it with a trigger here. And a signal. This is coming off an LFO that's right up there. Okay, red trace going up and down is the incoming LFO. Oh, that's right, we don't want to uh, give it an external source. We want to arpeggiate. So let's set the number of steps, some, or the gap between steps, something reasonable. The speed there. Let's crank the, arp the arpeggiation speed up and down. And so we can hear this. Let's switch over and use a Hertz donut up there to provide a sound. Y'all hear that Hertz donut? Good. Let's start it a trigger. In. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, yes. Incoming signal. It's trigger, trigger is there. There we go. Trigger's coming from there. It's a You have five different patterns. Rise. Arpeggiate fall. Arpeggiate pendulum. Arpeggiate random and arpeggiate textured, which is a bad random number generator that your brain can pick out a pattern in. Now, this knob here sets the number of arpeggiation steps. Low. to high. Maybe this one sets the number of arpeggiation steps. I forget. And this one sets the gap between the steps. Let's go to rise again. That's six steps. That's eight steps. This sets the step, step size, this sets the number of steps. So, let's 
dial up the chord size here a little. We can also have it go to an internal clock, which takes over this knob, and just remembers how many steps it had before. Finally, there's a quantizer. We'll feed it a trigger. And we'll feed it a signal to quantize. We'll set the number of states here. Two states. Four states or five states. The overrange state is another state. More states. I can also take it out of self-trigger mode. Now the self-triggering, the triggering is being done by an LFO over that away. I can slow it down. stop it altogether. Maybe I got it wrong there. Well, there is a way to stop it altogether so that it only triggers me. This is it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. One of these sets auto-triggering so that it triggers automatically and fires off a trigger pulse through there whenever it reaches a new value. The other mode, it only triggers when a pulse comes in. That's um, scary. So there you have it, the QAO, Quantize, Arpeggiate, Oscillate. Have a good time.